kid. Seriously. Hey, Maya. Hey, what? Some, sometimes we review movies. Sometimes we used to do it a long time ago, but um, we're going to do it again today because, well, movie trailers, I suppose, is what we actually are talking about because there is a movie trailer coming out, and I am very, very curious to get your thoughts. It is your favorite director of all time. It is Ryan Johnson. It's coming out November 27th, 2019. It is a murder mystery with an all-star cast. It is Knives Out. The first trailer has come out. Maya, what did you think of this trailer? So, it's hard for me to dislike a movie that's named after a Radiohead song, first of all. So immediately we start off on a good foot. And when we get into the trailer, uh, the first thing you notice is there are the coloring that he's chose, the palette, is very, very interesting. So there are equal parts sort of bland, dour colors mixed with very vibrant colors. Uh, which I think is extremely interesting. Additionally, I think uh, the cast, like you mentioned, is what sticks out. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the, from the trailer, I think it seems witty. I think it seems uh, funny. I think the dialogue is going to be solid and on point. I think the performances, anytime you get so many great actors, so long as the script is good, they're going to do a phenomenal job. And my issues with Ryan Johnson have never been the performances he's gotten out of people. I think he was able to, to do a great job with Daisy Ridley and, um, and the cast of the last Jedi, even though I don't like that movie. Uh, he, he, he's great in Looper. I thought the performances in Looper were from phenomenal. Um, I didn't like brick, but um, I, it wasn't because of the performances. So he's going to get the best out of his people. I think like, He's really good at that. The only worry I have, and I will go see this, and I want to go see this in the theaters, this is a type of movie that Lady Madrid really enjoys. Um, she loves murder mysteries. She loves Agatha Christie. Um, it's actually gotten me interested in mysteries, to be honest with you. And so um, this is something I'd like to take my wife to on a date. Um, my only concern is that Ryan Johnson's, I, I don't want to say shtick, but it is kind of a shtick to this point is let's take a genre and basically do the M night Shyamalan. What a twist, like something that you weren't expecting. And I think sometimes to me, and I know that you disagree with me on this. I'm not trying to be heavy handed, but in my opinion, his desire to turn things on a head and surprise the viewer is novel, but sometimes comes at least once comes at a, as at a, it, there's a sacrifice in the last Jedi where him, his desire to do that took away for, for me from the story. And I'm worried that this is going to basically be an Agatha Christie, uh, story, just something you don't expect. And what I keep hearing in my head is the robot chicken, uh, skit where Seth Green is playing M. Night Shyamalan at the end. He's like, ah, what a twist! And that's what I keep thinking all but, the time. So, so that's interesting, because I, I find that a weird comparison to... So what it, what is the twist you're seeing in, in other movies? Um, okay, so it really comes from Last Jedi. Okay. Or, like, Brick. Like, these are, I, I think you... But what, what about Brick as a twist? Yeah, see, I, I, I didn't make it through the movie. So... Um, really, I'm talking about Last Jedi. His whole focus on Last Jedi was to turn things on its head. And you you know more about Ryan Johnson than I do, so I'm relying on a lot of what you said. I've always felt that it's been your point, maybe I'm mischaracterizing it, that that is his thing, is, is taking a genre and then doing something you don't expect. And if I've misplayed that, but I, I just got those feelings and maybe that's just me projecting onto his film like i said i'm gonna see this i'm gonna see any other star wars movie he does i think there is a lot of great things about him and i like it when he's handling things that i don't particularly care about and can just have the freedom to tell a story that he wants to tell instead of telling a story that i want him to tell me i guess um but i just i maybe i've just burned so bad about my feelings about last jedi that i'm a little wary yeah, I, 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 no, I get that. And if you have a director where you, you really dislike one of their movies, that's obviously going to shade 
how you see their other movies. Obviously, I like him a lot. I like The Last Jedi a lot. I like Brick a lot. I like Looper a lot. I haven't seen Brothers Bloom. Um, but I, 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 what, what my point wasn't that he was giving you twists or trying to fool you is that, you know, a, a movie like Brick is a movie where he's taking a genre and he's doing the genre in a, a, a slightly different setting or from a, a different angle so that you can still experience kind of that genre, but it's not just I'm recreating a movie that's already been made. Because that's something I don't like. Like, the example I think I used in my comparison is there's a movie called The Good German, which stars uh, George Clooney and Cate Blanchett and all these great people. And it's basically like someone, I don't even know who the director is, but was like, I just want to remake Casablanca. So I'm going to basically remake Casablanca almost shot for shot, but like change a little bit of the story so I don't get sued. That's that's what what Ryan, what Brick isn't is going. I want to make the Maltese Falcon, so I'm going to just remake the Maltese Falcon. It's I'm gonna I'm gonna make a a, a noir, fast talking, old style uh, mystery, but I'm gonna do it from you know a unique perspective. Like I'm putting it with these high school kids, and it you know it's a drug deal gone bad and all that or whatever, which really appeals to me because it's it's interesting to see storytellers you know, attempt something from their perspective or from a different perspective. Um, I don't think that this movie looked that, that like brick that where it's stepping outside the parameters that much. And maybe that's a marketing, maybe that's a trailer thing. Maybe it will be, but I am in the same position as lady Madrid where I love these type of movies. Like, I think they're fun. I like trying to figure out who it's going to be. This cast is insane. This is one of the best casts ever. I, you know, Tony Collette and Michael Shannon are close to two of the best out there for me. Like everyone loves Chris Evans. So I'm a little worried about some of his delivery there, but, um, cause his, his smug guy could be a little too much. Um, from the little glimpses we get, I also get worried about Daniel Craig doing accents cause I don't think he can sustain them, but I like Daniel Craig, especially when Daniel Craig cares about being in a movie. And from what I saw about this, it seemed like Daniel Craig was happy to be in this movie. And there's a big difference between happy Daniel Craig and here for the paycheck, Daniel Craig. So this, this has got me excited. The movie I actually thought about that I really like is a, a Robert Altman movie, which is um Gosford Park which is kind of an upstairs downstairs British murder mystery it was written by Julian Fellows who went on to write and direct Downton Abbey um you know or um or, or as you brought up Ag Agatha Christie I mean Kenneth Branagh just did the Murder on the Orient Express and I think they're doing Murder on the Nile soon um this is the type of movie I want to see more of I want more old fashioned murder mysteries so everything about this excites me and I'm I'm happy to see it and I have a feeling that it'll be one of those movies that if you go to it and even if it it, it sucks it'll be light airy you'll have you you know there'll, there'll be some enjoyable moments and scenes to it and you'll forget about it if it you know it won't ruin your childhood if it doesn't turn out right so I agree I agree with a lot of that and I think you know everything that you said about Ryan Johnson could be true but this trailer is so by the book Agatha Christie, like down to the detective role and and all of the the characters and the you know keeping them all in one place so that he can solve the all of it is Agatha Christie. So that makes me feel like Ryan Johnson is not going to give you anything by the book unless that's the ultimate troll. Where now he just gives you something like that's just an Agatha Christie movie. Like, well, you never know. I mean, you, you know, we don't know him. He could just love Agatha Christie and be like. This right. is my shot to to make one, um, but well, yeah. Well, what I'm, I'm saying is that that would be the ultimate troll, right? Like everybody expects you to do something you don't expect, and then the ultimate unexpected thing is the fu is to do something that everybody expects. I mean, that would be brilliant, and he's probably a lot smarter than me, so maybe he'll have me. But uh, he'll have my money. I'm going to take my wife out to see this movie, and pretty early on because I don't want it spoiled for her. So perfect. Well, why don't you uh, why don't you take us home? All right, so uh, Luke. Uh, where can they find you? I am Luke underscore Neitzel on Twitter. Awesome. So you're back on Twitter now? I am. I am this week. Okay. I'm, I'm more sober. Um, I'm at Maya Madrid um, on Twitter as well. Together, we're at Kids Seriously. And somewhere out there, I was thinking about Fivel yesterday and that song, Somewhere Out There. And that's kind of how I feel about Mark right now. He's somewhere out there. And uh, I can't remember what his Twitter handle is, but I'm sure if you go to the Ad Kids Seriously podcast Twitter page, you can just, find Just, just well. go into 
Twitter type Mark and the guy who's posted every thirty seconds for the last eighteen hours will will be him because yeah, just click on click on latest he'll be there yeah he'll show up very quickly. Uh, <laughs> speaking of uh, showing up, we're showing out. We'll see you guys later. Bye.